Hello everyone, this is Professor Atman Shah. I teach economics at St. Xavier's College, Ahmedabad, India. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to perform independent t-test in SPSS. Uh, you can find my videos on economics and statistics on my YouTube channel, Crack Economics by Atman Shah. So let's begin with the uh, meaning of independent t-test. The independent t-test compares the means of two unrelated groups on the same continuous variables. For example, we want to test whether the consumption expenditure of male and female students are significantly different. So here we have two unrelated groups, that is male students and female students, one continuous variable, that is consumption expenditure. Now what is the null hypothesis? The null hypothesis is, there is no significant difference between the consumption expenditure of male and female students, or the consumption expenditure of male and female students is same. Against the alternative hypothesis of there is a significant difference between the consumption expenditure of male and female students or the consumption expenditure of male and female students is not same. Now, how to perform the independent t-test in SPSS? So here we have two variables, gender and consumption expenditure. We know that gender is a qualitative variable. So we need to assign the numerical values to each category. So here I have assigned zero to female and one to male. This is our data, the consumption expenditure of female students and consumption expenditure of male students. Now to perform independent t-test, go to analyze, compare means and select independent samples t-test. Again, go to analyze, compare means, independent samples t-test. Now click on independent sample t-test. This dialog box will appear on your screen. Now test variable is our continuous variable. The variable that we want to check or the variable that we want to test. So here we want to test the consumption expenditure of male and female students. So select consumption expenditure, click on this arrow. So the consumption expenditure variable will come to the test variable box. Now what is our grouping variable? Our grouping variable is gender because we have two groups, male students and female students. So select gender, click on this arrow. So the gender variable group will, will come in the grouping variable. Now we need to identify, we need to define the groups. So our first group is female. We have assigned zero to female. So write zero. Our second group is male and one is assigned to male group. So write one. So this is our two groups. Click on continue. Click on options. By default, the confidence interval percentage is 95. You can change it as per your requirement, but we continue with this uh, confidence interval percentage. So in this case, our alpha, that is level of significance is 0 0.05. So click on continue. Now to generate output, click on OK. Once you click on OK, the output will be generated in the output viewer window. Now we have two tables. The first table shows the group statistics, that is the descriptive statistics, mean, standard deviation and standard error of mean of two groups, that is female and male. Now here, the second table shows the result of the t-statistic. Now before we interpret the t-statistic result, we need to identify whether the variances of these two groups, that is female students and male students, is same or not. Now to identify this, we use the Levens test for equality of variances. Now what is the null hypothesis of this Levens test? The null hypothesis is the variances are equal. And the alternative hypothesis is the variances are not equal. So the F value is 0.435 and significant value is 0.522. Now this significant value is higher than 0 0.05. So we fail to reject the null hypothesis of Levens test and we conclude that the variances are same. So we go for this value of t statistic, which is associated with the equal variances assumed. So the t value is 0 0.662, degree of freedom is 12. That is N1 plus N2 minus 2. So here N1 is 7 plus N2 again 7. That is 14 minus 2. That is 
12. Now, significant value is 0 0.520. Now, this significant value is higher than the level of significance, that is 0 0.05. So, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. The null hypothesis is there is no significant difference between the uh, consumption between the male and female consumption expenditure. So we conclude that the consumption expenditure of male and female students is same. So this is the procedure of performing independent t-test in SPSS. If you like this video, kindly comment and share with others. Thank you very much.